Jonah here again, and um, this is long overdue, but I have an unboxing video, and um, yeah, the reason why I'm doing this now, obviously I'm running low, a little bit on beers, I've got a few, I can't remember exactly how many alcohol beers I have, because I've been on the alcohol free ones, but also, I found out today that um, there is a new box, I'm a month behind, over a month behind, and they didn't deliver it. And the delivery note said, left with neighbours. So I went that way, don't have it. Went that way, don't have it. It didn't give me a number. So what is a neighbour? Anywhere in the road of a hundred houses? So B52, your delivery supplier, not very good. Yodel it is, so Yodel, get your act together. Um, I'm kind of now getting a bit funny with Beer 52 because they've done, they've done some weird things lately. But anyway, that's between me and them. It's not your problem, dear viewer. Let's get into this unboxing video. Oh yeah, look, I have got a new pen knife and the obligatory kind of snake knot um, paracord tassel thing of doom. But anyway, I thought I'd show this off today. But uh, I have actually sharpened this. Um, not, not super, super, super sharp. Oh, I took a bit off. Hmm. Not super sharp, but for opening boxes and cutting plants, cutting flowers for your true love works very well. Right, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we go down this way first. We have got this beer on trend, which technically was last month. Um, as you'll probably see, um, what have we got here? Vinyl box. It is a some sort of box set for vinyl. If you would like a discount code, there is one. A month free subscription. Put that down for you. And the one that hasn't arrived yet, but is kind of in transit, hopefully, is the southeast, which is where I am. On the lovely Kent coast, that's where I am. What have we got? Oh, some more bribes. Um, Merkel. Naturally and blah, 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 blah. Should you wish to have 20% off? Have a look at that. Merkis. I have actually no idea what that is, but I'm sharing the value with you. Um, interesting got a happy Father's Day card. Um, but it's probably a bit too late now. Let's get in here. Ah, speaking of the devil, remember that Merkel thing you can get 20% off? It is some sort of food supplement. Vitamin B is a vegan thing. Um, Hmm. From Scandinavia country. What's that one? Is that Finland or is that Norway or can't remember. Can't remember my flags. When I was a Cub Scout, I was good at flags. Not anymore. Oh, there's another one. There is another one. Same thing. So I've got two of these. If they're any good, I'll let you know. Right, we have got aha, plantain chips with garlic for their banana crisps, and we have got a very small pack of crunchy nibbles made out of corn. 
which is from these guys, Indulge. I think, mm, I think that's about it, snack-wise. Now, the other thing that Beer 52 did was they conned me somehow to click on upgrading my box. Um, so I think I've got a couple of extra beers in this box, which is usually good, but I'm pretty sure they charged me for them. So what have we got? Nice. Two Chefs Brewing, Corn Collector, it says. Who, oops, if I drop these, they are from Amsterdam. Yeah, I thought it was. Two Chefs. So these ones could be from anywhere. This one looks like from London. This is Bianca Road, Long Play, Session IPA. As you well know, don't really like the word session in my IPAs. <laughs> that looks cool though. Some Ives, sticky, stuffy pudding stout. As I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven beers. And he wouldn't have seven for long if I was there. Six and a half percent, that bad boy. So let's put that, let's do dark, dark light. How about that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Rice lager. 45 day rice lager. Interesting. That one is Danish from Denmark. Go over there. Ooh, nice. Bit of the monk, northern monk, sabro flavoured stout. One of their twist editions, which is fine with me. So What have we got here? <laughs> London Porter. Looks pretty good. London Porter. Drink fresh. Made with bubbles as well. What is this brewery? I've had these guys before, but I cannot remember. Oh. Nightmare. Mm. Bureau, that's right, Bureau. So the porter goes on the dark side. We have got a big one. I've got a big one. There we go. Duration, another day. Oops. Another day done. What is this bad boy? Juicy mango. Uh, Abbey Farm. Okay, imported by blah 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 blah. Cool, okay. So these guys are from Norfolk, I think. Cool. That can go over that side. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm pleased to see that we do have 12 beers, which is always good. Gypsy Hill, there we go. Wild Farms Regenerator. Golden Ale, which is over this side. Gypsy Hill, had some good ones, had some not so good ones. One of my favourite beers of all time, Dunkel Vice. Dark Wheat. Uh, from 71 Brewing, 4.5%. That doesn't sound very dunkle to me. Uh, sorry, that is that side. Wheat beers are usually stronger, but not always. Ah, two tribes. I think this is another one from Holland. Uh, Brewer's Edition European Pale, Iper. Whatever that may be. Let's triple check. 
Mm-hmm. Especially made for beer. Pretty cool. Oh, my eyes are going totally funny. We'll get there. Four and a half percent, please, on that one. You know, the pale one. Put that away for the lager. Only two more. Absolute epic. Roomies. March Equinox. You can see that one's well overdue. 5.4. Um, St. Ives again. Roomies beer. 5.4% this one is. Equinox. So let's say probably it's, it's probably going to have a Marzen. Okay. So that's another reasonably light one. Ah, and finally we have got the cold IPA by Brew Gooder. And nobody knows really what a cold IPA is. 5.5%. That one, if we go over there, dear viewer, this is 12 days worth of drinking in itself. So we're definitely going to have some fun looking at beers that are on trend. Cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you real soon for more reviews, probably including some of these. Till then, remember to drink some beer.